Welcome to La Rosa. I'm your host Pinky and today we're going to be talking about high visual weight versus low visual weight. Which one are you? Which one am I? So if you'd like to see more than just stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. High visual weight, low visual weight, which one? What is it in the first place? So I've been seeing this go viral on TikTok. Y'all, I've been getting a lot of my topics from TikTok because they be popping over there so I might as well bring them over here and talk about them here too okay according to Google high visual weight refers to a person who has more prominent features for instance big eyes high cheekbones and big lips these features really stand out on the face and they tend to be able to carry a very bold dramatic look very well without it looking overwhelming or like it's too much someone with low visual weight has softer features your eyes your nose and your cheeks wouldn't be that prominent when compared to the rest of your face and soft natural makeup tends to complement these facial features more tiktok even has some filters that you could play around with and supposedly they help you figure out which one that you are so i was today years old when i found out that the way that you do your makeup should depend on whether or not your face has a high or low visual weight so for example just to test it out it means that if you turn on this filter the bold glamour filter and it doesn't give you a jump scare like it actually looks all right it means that your features and your facial structure can handle more heavy high glam moments but if you turn a filter on like this and it looks better, your face and its structure is more suited to the natural, more light makeup looks. It's just going to flatter you more and make you look better. I don't know, what do we think about this? I didn't really like either one of them, so I don't really know what that means. I did a bit more research on high visual weight versus low visual weight. And basically, if you have a smaller face and more prominent features, then you look better with heavier makeup and that's high visual weight. But if you have a bigger face with more petite features, low visual weight, I think I fall into the high visual weight category because I can't rock heavy makeup and it doesn't look overdone. I don't like the makeup on this particular filter and I really didn't like the bold filter either because I felt like it just didn't look like me. And also I was a little resistant because I'm someone that loves a very light, no makeup makeup look. That's something I rock the most. At the end of the day, these filters are not one size fit all so i really wouldn't take these filters too seriously i feel like those filters didn't do this process justice so someone on tiktok recommended that i look up dear peachy on youtube because they did a video on finding your face visual weight and i thought that would be so cute and fun to try here on youtube so we can figure it out together so apparently the first way you can try to figure it out is by taking a picture of yourself you make the picture black and white and then you go to your contrast if you turn it all the way up to 100 and you feel like your features are clear and look better then you most likely have a high visual weight or if you scroll it all the way down to 100 and you feel like your features stand out more that way then you most likely have a low visual weight i feel like my features are much clearer with the 100. i think i'm leaning more towards the high visual weight Take a look at the nose in this example. Do you think that it has high visual weight? When the nose is viewed from the front, it certainly has bigger surface area. But when it is viewed from the side, we can see that it has lower nose bridge, broader alar base, and less defined contour to the overall nose shape. Thus, all these traits of the nose contribute to lower visual presence instead. So it's saying from the front, even though it may be wide, um, I need to look in the mirror, y'all, because I can't, <laughs> I can't sleep without my glasses. Even though if your nose is a little bit wider from the front, if from the side, the bridge of it goes in, or if it's less prominent from the side, you still can have low visual weight. I feel like my nose is very prominent regardless of whether I turn to the side or front. Okay, this is very interesting. So if you look at the proportion of your facial features, so if you take like the circumference of your face and then the circumference of the features in your face. If the circle of your features is much smaller than the circumference of your face, then you most likely have a lower visual weight. If your features take up the circumference of your face, then you most likely have a higher visual weight. When you lose weight in your face, it increases the visual weight. The bigger the diameter of the pupil in your eye, the more prominent and more attention is drawn to your eyes. I will say when you add a lash, it definitely makes your eyes pop and obviously when i wear color contacts the light of the eye that's 
even more so going to draw you into my eyes. If you want to make your lips pop out even more, you can add a bold red lip or a bold color. If you want to soften that area of your face, you could just wear a nice light gloss or a, a neutral color, light pink, something like that. The bone structure on your face, if you have a lot more space here, then it's going to push forward visually and create a higher visual weight. Whereas if this space is shorter and kind of looks more flat in dimension, then you'll have a lower visual weight. When you have close set facial features, they tend to pop out a bit more. You most likely have a high visual weight as opposed to someone whose facial features are evenly distributed across their face that would be a low visual weight. So if you do have close set facial features and the ratio of your facial features are much smaller than your face shape, then you can use bangs in order to distract and draw attention to the features on your face. So that's the reason why those TikTok filters were not working because you can't just depend solely on one or two characteristics of higher or lower visual weight in order to determine whether you have either one. I think it's clear that I have a high visual weight. It's just crazy that I'm already doing a lot of what they said to do to compliment my face. Like I used to fill in my brows and they were a lot darker and they look crazy. They look like two blocks. And you know, some people can get away with that, especially if your eyebrows are not as thick or if your features are not as prominent. But I recently, within the past couple of years, started doing the natural fluffy, you know, just brush it and fill it in just a little bit. And you know, kind of the soap brow look. And so to find out that that is the best look for my face, I'm like, I've been heading in the right direction, okay? Y'all let me know what your face visual weight is down below. I would love to hear it. And did you get any helpful tips and tricks? Did you learn anything new today in this video? So y'all let me know if y'all want me to do more videos like this. I thought this was fun. Maybe we could do like some quizzes on beauty in another video. Y'all let me know what y'all would like to see from me in this space. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.